headed to a house in St. Elmo again. I think it's St. Elmo or Edith's Lookout Mountain. I can't remember which, but uh, this was an emergency call that I got. I am on vacation right now and uh, hate to see it. But At the light, use the right lane to turn onto State Route 193. just got back in town and so I'm heading straight over here to hand it's wax. It really ain't no wax, it's a family member, so you know it's it's just a gentle uh, release of the spirit from the household. Chattanooga is beautiful I tell you if you can get out here and get a look at our mountains do you hear me? yes I'm working on my vacation it just really depends on the situation uh, for me but you know I gotta go out here and do this with this woman like I said I've been to her house before I went to go cleanse it uh, she had some things going on I call it the house on the hill and uh, so you know it's gonna be interesting St. Melmo is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I love this spot. I wanted to raise my children out here, but mm, uh, the laws on the property really stink. Um, I had a few places. I lived all around here, but I'm coming up. I think this is the building. Nope. I already passed it. Yeah, we lived that building might be gone, is it? Oh, I mean, there's the church, St. Elmo Church. Oh, yep, this building coming up right here. This is where I lived uh, with my ex-husband when we were teenagers. Like, we lived there. That shit was so red and festive, but you know, I guess that's that ghetto dream for having a household and a family, but that shit, it was cool, it was cool. We actually only paid $300 for it, but Woke up one night and kept hearing this noise and it was like a drawer full of mice. Shit was nasty. All right, here's the hill I was telling you about. This house is all my God, she has Buddha everywhere. The Buddhas, the flowers, sleeping Buddhas, laughing Buddhas, just all the prosperity, peace, and love that you can feel. Oh. I love it. Mm. I love coming here. This is my second time. Very glad to be here because I just love her vibe and her energy. The camera is registering the spirit, and it usually happens after I come outside and when I go in. Or if in the morning time when I check the camera, the camera has filmed it two or three times. I'm going to put it up on my phone. I have the recording. And okay. you can see the light change. You know, as if you stepped in front of the light, you're walking through the house, then the light changed. And in my house, it showed the Buddha but you will see the light change. It switches. Different than if, if you walk past it. And, and there's no one walking past it. But I always uh, feel my son. He always sneaks peeks at me. You know, because he did it when he was alive. You know, he was that type of person where he would stick his head in the door of the kitchen and say, hey, girl. So I always, if I'm washing dishes, I always sense that he's there. But the camera began to catch the activity. See, I always, my, my grandchildren have stories to tell also about the activities of the PlayStation getting knocked on the floor. Different things that's happening. So yeah, we have, we, this been going on now for a while. And I believe I told you about the dreams that I started having of him being a captive. Yes. You know, yeah, I've had, and then another dream where he was um, eating some raw meat. Yes, and then that's when I knew that he was in trouble. And I was like, he's stuck. So I burned that yesterday. And I was like, I could do
that this lady has the most beautiful energy, like even in a situation like this, like she promoting positivity with everything that she displayed. Like she got the sun right here on this mound where it's transpired with her son. And it's just like a real heartfelt situation. It's one day to grow it out of here. So what we're gonna do, we gonna take some pictures and I'm gonna set up some equipment to see if we can pick up some of this uh, activity that's going on. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate you letting me film, by the way. Yeah, I'm trying to um, assist my child. If that's what it takes, that, that's the least I can do. <laughs> I appreciate you. I didn't even put on my wig. <laughs> 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 they were like, you didn't put on your wig? No. No. Says I told you before, I'm going to set some equipment up. Okay. And so anytime register, this will be lighting up, as you seen on my last video. Love that thing. here all I see is I see a man laying on the sofa crying uh, clearly he's heartbroken uh, from what I can see of him like he's extremely heartbroken uh, really feels like his feelings have been hurt this person even though taking his life, he was God-fearing. Uh, and he did ask for forgiveness before he did it. He, uh, first I saw him laying on the sofa and then I saw him get up and I seen him come outside and he asked for forgiveness before he did it. Okay. He asked for forgiveness before he did it. He just could not hold himself together like any yeah. longer trying to hold himself together. He slept on the couch. Yeah, and um, he that was like the last thing he said is he 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 has got to forgive him. He uh because he could he could he couldn't oh uh, so I did a little set up in two different places outside, one to purify the grounds, one to cleanse it, and it went really well. They have this beautiful little cross set up that they've made and they light it and it's like one big crossfire. So I made sure that I cleanse that space right there to give it some positive energy. There was no refusal. Um, he didn't refuse any of this healing. And again, this was not an exorcism or anything. This was somebody's family. And this is a family home. And this is somebody's loved one. And as I said, you can't just keep the dough in. Like, just being your most absolute group. Now, this young man will still be able to come back and see his family. This whole thing is about releasing him. I'm making my business to ask everyone when I do mediumship, where are you? What is it like? What do you see? 
what did you see when you uh, died? Who did you see? Some of them say that they saw nothing. Some seen God. Some actually seen Jesus. Then you have those rare few that died tragic deaths and they get trapped in the same place that they died. The area seemed peaceful. So let us walk. Inferno. Bitch, you bet not. You better stop for that spirit jumping your ass and make you start moonwalking while you bullshit. Now, before I go, I do have to cleanse the inside of the house, and by doing that, I'm going to roll a coconut through the house. Gentle, gentle, gentle. And the coconut is just going to roll in different places where negative energy resides. Light, gentle kinks. Yep, boop, yep. Light, gentle kicks, and it draws in all the negative energy that is in the room, in the house. Yes. Now, coconut cleanses are really healthy for people that have asthma, cannot stand the smell of smoke, or just hate the smell of sage. There is another way. You do not have to use sage. was trying to come back out the room like no 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 bitch let me out ah, don't push me in there god damn it i'm rolling back out on your bitches Bitch, you are supposed to be cleaning the house, not tearing that motherfucker up. The fuck is you doing? Now, clearly somebody was angry because that damn coconut shot across the floor like, Jesus Christ. Ooh, I shouldn't have broke the door knob. Shh, don't tell nobody. Ooh, ooh. Sudden shit just started falling out of nowhere. Coconut didn't even go nowhere near that shit. I shouldn't. God damn, I didn't mean to break the motherfucking dough knob. I put it back. Shit, forgive me. Shalala Honda! Shalala Honda!
was struggling with that thing. Go, go, that motherfucker wanted to roll back in the middle. Bad as hell. That motherfucker was spinning and rolling backwards. Get your ass back to the goddamn door. Get out the door. Shows a person walking by, but you cannot physically look, see them. Let's see, it's just me. Now, I ain't gonna lie. When I saw it that second it time, I saw something go by there, like a light or something. Did you see that? I saw it. Mm -hmm. it you can see it in this window. You see the light change. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's no one there activating. Let me see if it's the one where you can hear them. See? I can't hear it. Mm. There you go. And just as I said I couldn't hear it, all this shit starts walking across the porch. Mm. I was like, what the yeah. fuck? Play it again for me. Walking. Yes, mm -hmm. there's no one there. I I went in the house. Okay. I want to find the one where that light, where the light. You can actually see something enter the screen and it turns black and then it moves back out. And you can actually hear somebody walking also. You can hear the walking in both videos. Like, hmm, I hear that, I hear that. 